I would just thought, Russ would touch some things on a national level. I thought I'd give you a little insight to what our feelings are, are for the Atlanta area and as Atlanta goes, so it does a lot of the southeast market. So we think trends to get that happen here in Atlanta can be felt throughout the southeast. And that was really born out in 2010. And almost every market across the southeast, you saw demand increase. Increase the historic highs. Everybody's like, it's back, we're back. The demand is here. Rates were still very low, and they were still going down in 2010. But as 2010 went along, you know, in Atlanta, it was a very strong convention season in 2011 for downtown market. A lot of that compression pushed to the outer markets, and the outer markets did very well. If, I know a lot of you are familiar with Atlanta, but Atlanta is divided into very distinct markets. And what I found out over my five years living here and doing a lot of projects in Atlanta, a hotel on the perimeter very rarely will ever compete with a hotel in Buckhead, or a hotel in Buckhead won't compete out in Cobb. Even hotels in Midtown sometimes are totally different than what's going on downtown. So I threw a little map I use in a lot of the articles I have to sort of breaking out the various sectors within the Atlanta metro area. You know, downtown is primarily a convention destination. All the hotels really cater to the citywide conventions and large group business. Midtown area deals with a lot of the law firms and uh, smaller office type people in the Midtown area. Buckhead is upscale luxury hotels. The perimeter deals with a lot of uh, the communication industry. And then the Cobb area deals, they have their own convention center out there and they deal a lot with um, more limited service, extended stay, do really well in the Cobb area because of long-term stays with CS Railroad and have that Cobb baseball thing that goes on out there every year. I don't know what that's about, but a lot of good baseball players out there. So I, we used some trends that SDR had reported out. When Russ and I first got together in April, we were discussing the conference and what topics we wanted to do. And it was, we came to the conclusion, we really shouldn't draw out topics right now because no telling what's gonna happen from now to when we meet September. We put out all these topics by September, Everything could change, and as we know, 2011, everybody's charging right along. In the beginning of 2011, 2010 was great demand. Rates were gonna skyrocket. We're going up eight, 10% some markets with rates. Atlanta was looking at an 8% increase in rates. The corporate negotiated rate in 2010, a lot of the hotel operators were able to get a lot higher rates for their corporate transient demand. So it's real, 2011 started out real strong, I think you all agree. And we were going into it, and then the oil crisis hit. The gas prices went up, the crisis in the Middle East, everybody was on edge. We slowly get, went into the summer with that, with really bad winter. I was just in Myrtle Beach doing a project. And they said we had, it wasn't a good summer as it was last year because the schools didn't get out until the end of June where they would get out, early. even here in Atlanta, we missed, we had to go another week because we missed that whole week in the beginning in January. And it's amazing how something like that, a little like that will impact an entire season for some of the hotels. And that happened over the summer and then the whole debt crisis and now everybody's starting to pull back. We're seeing that the demand is still out there. I don't think the demand's gonna change much from 2010 to 2011. However, where we thought that strong rate growth was gonna happen in 2011, it's not gonna be as strong as everybody thought at the beginning of the year. And in 2012, we also were predicting huge rate growth, you know, some markets, some hotels, uh, up to eight to 10%. I think 2012 now, it's gonna slow down a little bit because there's too much uncertainty out there. People are afraid because the demand left so great in 2009, as you can see, this is from uh, courtesy of Smith Travel Research. You can see how much demand declined and occupancies went down over a little bit in 2008, and then we all know 2009 is the bottom fell out. And the turnaround so quickly in 2010, people were unsure, like I said. They wanted to keep that demand. They thought, well, we're going to get hit good. We've got good convention season at the beginning of the year, but it's going to leave us over the summer. It never did. I think the Gulf oil spill might have had a, a, something to do with people said, there's a lot of tractions in the Atlanta market, let's go there. If you have uh, anybody doing work down on the Gulf Coast, where'd the oil go? Nobody knows, nobody even remembers at this point. They had a really good year down there, 
it, because a lot of that demand that went here went to the East Coast, went back to the Gulf. And so every, all the demand was still there, but that rate push did not happen. Like this was the beginning of the summer. You can see now rate growth isn't, it wasn't, isn't near what it was expected to be in 2011. It's actually going, it expects to go down a little bit because operators were finding out or just hesitant to push that rate up as it real comfortable with the demand they have. With the demand, you see the rep bar is still up. So the bottom line, their cash flows are still growing, but not at the rate we anticipated. I think 2013, like Russ had said, in Washington, once all that malaise, they can finally get on track and put some confidence back into the economy. Everybody will get back on sound footing and be able to grow. So we're expecting demand to stay pretty level through the next year in 2012. Great growth to happen, maybe at a three or four percent versus where we were looking, maybe an eight percent, and then getting back on track to rate growth in 2013. <coughs> and the, the biggest thing we got going for us in the industry now is no new supply. The Atlanta market and most markets, barely anybody's lending on ground up. I think probably a lot of people could confirm that that are here. Uh, the, the people just don't have the cash to get the projects out of the ground. So what a lot are doing are renovating their existing facilities and benefiting from that. And I mean, we don't see much new supply coming out in the next two, three years. So there's not much even being considered. It's a lot floating out there, nothing down on paper. You don't see any shovels in the ground. So you've got at least 18 months for anything could get started today with open. So it's going to be two, three years before new supply starts to hit. And as the rates come up, there's going to be a lot of activity for that. Anybody have any questions? Just our brief outlook and what we see coming. Thanks. Of those areas you see within Atlanta, where do you see the most uh, demand growth? Right here, on the I-85 corridor in Boyne County. It's, this, this market was just poised to explode when the downturn happened, that it's still, there's a lot of people sniffing around for hotels. Demand has gone up greatly here. Everything's getting back on track here, attracting national headquarters like NCR. Up here, it's just, it's a great environment here, and there's not many much full service hotels in this market. The limited service hotels are doing well. They get their rates are above 100 on a lot of them, and their occupancies are in the 70%. This is the prime area from here up to the Mall of Georgia. Yeah. 